Hey, this is Bozo. He is a cat that I picked up at out. He was kind of a stray left behind cat out where I work. And I brought him home and he now lives in the corral. And I got a couple other cats and him and the other cats always have standoffs and growl at each other. But I think they're going to wind up him and this one guy that's always his nemesis. I think they're going to end up to be pretty good buddies. Anyways, I got a little tip that might help some people that I'm going to show you in a minute. But I just want to show you where I'm at with this now. And, you know, I said before, I'll take this styrofoam and I'll cut it. As you can see, I did cut the piece out. And, you, you know, it's kind of rough to tell. But that piece did go in here after I got it smaller. And there's some bondo and it's going to get some more fiberglass over it. This here has fiberglass. And, it, you know, it needs work, but it's getting there. And it works. And it's strong. And here, where the window goes up and down, if you remember right, it was all, I mean, it was ate out. It was, you know, rusted out bad. And I put this fiberglass in. The window goes up and down. I'm, I'm going to do some work sanding it out. And then... I wish I had thought of this before, I should have, but I bought this stuff, I just picked this up at Lowe's, and this here will become the new, it won't go that way, it will go, once I trim this out and sand it out, this will go down in here, and it will become, it will fit it right, and then they'll have a back on there that you couldn't see. If you look here, see this one here? The one over there, this all was rusted out. There wasn't any anything here. And then this was all rusted out. This was all, you know, mostly rusted out. And this here was completely gone. So this here will, come, will replace it once I get it in, you know? And, it, and then I'll fiberglass a thin coat of fiberglass over this and it'll work. Now, I don't remember, if, you know, you probably didn't see it, but there was a big giant hole right here. I mean, big enough that I, could, I couldn't stand here because it was so big, you know, if I was working up here. And this is a little sheet piece of thin metal that I put in just to, so the fiberglass wouldn't fall through. And it's two layers of fiberglass I'm probably gonna put one more layer on but it's hard I'm gonna do you know I'm gonna do a little more work in these corners and in here of course and then there was holes over here smaller ones I still gotta finish you know but a seat will go here It'll almost be like riding in a chariot if you got here and sat down while I pulled you down the street with the car. I don't know if we're going to do that. But you take fiberglass and some thin metal in some cases or styrofoam. And you can fix a lot. And it's, and it's solid. It is. You know, like I said, it won't last forever. But the tip I was talking about, it may, you know, probably most of you people know this. But if you've never worked with fiberglass before... You can get into it issues like because of the resin. I get my resin. I get this stuff comes out of Florida. I've had really good luck with it. I like it. It's like on eBay and it's when you hit uh, lowest price first for gallons. This company comes up. So how do you measure it without wasting? Because when I, I didn't know at first and I kind of just figured, you know, worked at it. You know, you got to mix your hardener with that. And what I figured out was this and it worked out really good I got a ruler and I, that was where the top of the stuff came out you got one two three four five six eight eight inches it was they, these here are actually one inch increments so you got a one inch one inch and then there's a half inch 
and then I took my little bottle and I did the same thing where the fluid was at the top I cut it in half and then I just worked out till I had eight parts of uh, hardener to that and then I get it I get me one of these old coffee cans and I'll pour whatever amount I think I'm gonna need into the coffee can then when I'm ready I squirt this in appropriate amount and give it a quick stir using a old wooden chopsticks I like chopsticks you go to a, you go to some of these Chinese restaurant takeout joints still give them away for free you know and they work good for stirring up you just stir it up real quick and then I bought these brushes you want to get these 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 type brushes because the polyester ones the, you know those plastic brushes like you can buy cheap brushes will melt when the uh, urethane or that you know the that that stuff that whatever you call it I can't even think it's it but this one I get these at our uh, harbor freight and pretty much they're one use only because once you put them on yeah the polyester resin because once after you're done they just harden up like a rock but I hope that helps somebody and if you ever get using this stuff it's it's not bad to work with but when you I'm sanding and as you can see I wear short sleeve shirts and even though that it's a powder it still gets into your skin like fiberglass and it, it, it itches and it's just one of those things oh yeah and then after I get done with I usually end up with resin on my hands I never wear gloves because I, I don't know why I'm just lazy I, I got them but I never put them on I forget to I'll take some right after I get done I'll get some cheap the liquid uh, soap or whatever I got all kinds out here I've been using this stuff too and you just squirt a bunch of that in your hands and then you take your hands and with the soap you get some dirt you know like your old gritty soap and you just work that dirt with the soap into your hands and they clean up good I mean yeah my fingernails are a little grubby but you should have seen these hands last night but I clean them up right out here and so that you know it works for me anyways that's about it and in about a little bit I'm gonna start working on this and be the last I'm just today's Friday and I won't be working on this till later next week depending we're supposed to go up to South Carolina Charleston I don't know if we'll be going or not I gotta call up ahead because of that hurricane Florence that landed there and I know it didn't land in uh, Charleston but they did evacuate so it might cause me not to go but I can't well anyways it doesn't matter this here is going to be getting you know metal and fiberglass there's a guy that I talk back and forth with he's over in England and if you look on my site I've got his first uh, I think it calls it 59 1959 Bonneville restoration part one and he's redoing his he's redoing a 59 Bonneville complete but right now he's working on his trunk and he's building all new I'll call it braces and you should see it you got to look at it it's so amazing to me because I'm out here working on this doing you know kind of sloppy work and he's doing ultimate you know pro job like better than factory when he's done go check them out and compare them in it, it it's if you're working on any car you know the visuals might help but if you have a 59 Pontiac you'll really like it 59 any 59 60 GM car is going to be pretty much alike everybody you all take care and God bless you all